let's try to look at how we can uh, in, uh, insert charts in our Microsoft Word document. How can we insert charts in Microsoft Word document? On the start, you can go to the start menu bar. This is our start menu bar. No, 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 no. This is the start menu bar down. This is the menu bar. Uh, just on our menu bar, go to insert. Then when you click insert, it will prompt a lot of tools. On those tools, you pick charts. We are going to look at how to insert charts. Right away, it will bring a, a dialog box. A dialog box which has templates, which has column, line, pie, bar graph, area graph, stock, surface, and others. Now, onto all these, what you can as well do is to keep checking on the one you may feel like uh, working upon. So let's start with the column graph. When we start with the column graph, it will prompt us with with uh, two interfaces. Uh, a dialog box this side which asks you to insert some data in it. Then here we shall be left with our main uh, graph. Onto our main graph, it has X and Y axis but we are going to change them. Let's start with the series. When I change here, the keys here and the keys, the series will also change. Let's put here, for instance, uh, Coco, or like cash crop. Then we say sun, flower. Then the last one, the last one, we may put but be observant, the moment we change here, even the series change. So here we shall have, for instance, tobacco. Then here we may say, OK, enter, press enter. So still we have changed series, but we still need the categories. The headers here to be also change, let's say. Here we put Malawi, uh, then Denmark, here I can put Canada, then Zambia. So the moment I click enter here, Zambia will come here. So if I say OK item or for the columns of Zambia items will also change now let's try to feed in some information for instance Malawi let's say Cocoa Malawi and let's put uh, let's say 20 whether 20 tons or what then let's say uh, Denmark you see, Malawi right here has changed to 20. Let's say Denmark 5. Let's say 5 to Denmark and say enter. The change has been observed here. Or still, we can change Denmark to 15 so that we can observe it very well. And you say enter on another line, things will change, will continue changing. So we can as well go to to Canada. No, no, no. Zambia. Zambia can put like ten, and we go to Canada. Canada can put like still fifteen, and say enter. So the moment you keep adding your information. It keeps changing. Let's look at sunflower uh, for Zambia, and we can put 20. Then we say enter. The changes keep coming. 
the more you keep doing your work. Still, we can add another column to make our graph more bigger. You can just resize. When you resize, it will create another column. You can put maze. Then you include the amount that you want, like 30. It will keep growing. It will keep grow to until it gets hit where you want. So we are seeing maize coming with 30. Then on on and where on Malawi here on Malawi this is maize. So we keep having. If you want to add more countries, still you can resize down and add more countries like Rwanda. and keep changing your information as you may wish as you may wish